Last time I covered an overview of the first two stages that iClass has been part of Trader Evolution. Today I look at the next three that will hopefully take you all the way up to attracting third party investor capital. Stay tuned. DarwinX is a UK FCA regulated broker and asset manager on a mission to disrupt the financial trading, investing and asset management industries. As a trader, you'll benefit from cost-effective market access via multiple trading platforms and APIs. These enable trading and investing in any US stock, over 60 of the most liquid futures contracts, FX and CFDs. You can even diversify your portfolio by buying and selling other traders' strategies as investable assets themselves. So, if all of that sounds interesting, learn more by clicking on the link top right now or find further links in the description right below. Now back to today's tutorial. Okay, so let's continue where we left off last time. And this is where the journey gets really interesting as we start to talk about third party investor capital. So let's take a look. By the time you reach competent trader, here you're actually making consistent and regular profits and things are beginning to feel good at this stage. So you're building a credible and verifiable track record that will serve you well into the future. But you're also looking at some more sophisticated techniques that you can incorporate into your strategies, such as diversification. And this will all add to your knowledge and skill set. And by the way, in terms of education, my experience is that this never ends. You're never going to get to a point where you know everything you need to know. There's always going to be something that's going to improve your systems. And so again, this is a continuing theme. But the issues here take a slightly different direction. All of a sudden you're making profit, which is brilliant, but are you making enough profit in order to make this a career choice? Now, unless you're very well capitalized and have a lot of equity at your disposal, probably the answer's no. And so this insufficient capitalization is really going to severely impact your progress. Other issues that you'll start to recognize is that it's not just about returns. Although you've always been aware of risk management, at this point, a light bulb turns on and you realize the importance of this in relation to the reward side. And linked to that is portfolio correlation. Get this wrong and the risk to your equity increases significantly. So these are things that clearly you need to address. So in terms of moving on here, one thing I'm going to be talking about is to start treating this like a job. If you go to an employer, they will have a certain set of procedures and rules. But when you're a trader, there aren't any, unless you make them. You can do whatever you want. There are no rules. And unless you address this kind of attitude to trading, and put in place your own procedures, rules, policies, you're going to find it much more difficult to proceed. Also at this point, because you've started to build up your track record, you've now got data to monitor and analyze. And believe me, when you've got this, this is an absolute gold mine if you know how to use it. So I'll be giving you some techniques that I use that I feel have helped me significantly in this area. And then finally, in order to address the risk management and portfolio correlation, if you're anything like me, you'll do a complete risk management overhaul at this point. Now, at the next stage of attracting seed capital, you're really beginning to get some attention now from observers. And you'll also find yourself competing with peers. So here you're going to be focusing on building on that existing track record you've got. Anything you can do that adds the element of competition, I find actually drives me and spurs me on to improve further. And so one of the things I'm going to be looking at here is the Darwinia monthly challenge that DarwinX runs and talking about some of the changes that I implemented in order to compete better in that challenge. 
The thing you need to remember is that Darwin X don't just hold this competition for fun. They do it to drive their own traders to be more successful. Because as I said, that's aligned with the Darwin X business model. If its traders aren't successful, the business model falls apart. And so this is just one of those techniques to help you as a trader on your way. Now, one of the main issues you will face at this point as you begin to attract that seed capital is the psychological changes that that brings about in your mindset. It's very different trading third party capital than it is just your own. So you need to be aware of that because the last thing you want to do is start changing your rules based on that change psychology. So I'll be talking a lot about techniques that I feel you can use in this space. And then in terms of advancement, you now probably need to start diversifying your tasks and your daily activities. And you need to start thinking about marketing. How are you going to market your strategy to attract investors? And also, how are you going to improve the consistency of your returns to attract investors? So you see here, there's a switch from purely acting as a practitioner trader into more of an entrepreneurial side. Get this right and you'll start to attract third party capital. So managing investors money where they're investing in you specifically to trust you to get them a return on that. So clearly here, you need to have in place a legal and regulated pathway for that investment you need to be in a position to make investor leverage work for you. Now, I'm not going to say anything more about this now because this is going to be the topic of the next episode. You're going to find yourself competing for investment with other traders. And the issues here will only build on the issues in the previous stage. When you start to manage capital of other individual investors, the propensity for that to change your behavior is huge. Amongst other things, there might even be a temptation to overperform by over leveraging. And this is one of the biggest mistakes you could make at this point and effectively throw everything you've built away. So here you need a mindset change and you need to change from the mindset of a trader to a fund manager. And there's a lot of difference there. You also need to get into the head of investors and experience what investors are experiencing, because if you have that understanding, that will enable you to take actions that will better serve your investors. Someone once told me that you need to focus your efforts on the end game, the vision. And by doing that, it means the actions you take today are aligned with that vision and will help you along that path. Any decisions you make that aren't aligned are effectively wasted effort. So this is where I'm going to start the journey with the vision. And the first topic I'm going to cover in the next episode is making investor leverage work for you. So I'll be talking about what this concept is, how it will help you on your journey, and to perform the necessary calculations for the example that I'll use, I'm going to be using the performance fees dashboard on the Darwin X platform. So I'm hoping that that's given you a really good overview of some of the topics that I'm going to be covering. And I would encourage you to tune in for this next episode because investor leverage is one of those things that can mean you don't have to over leverage and put risk on your own equity and it provides a more viable and future-proof way of progressing your trading career. So if that episode is already available, then you'll see it top right now. But now until next time, trade safe.